All right then, gang. So we now have a farm widget, but we don't have any farm fields inside it yet. So let's add some. I'm going to add two farm fields in this lesson, all right? One for the to-do title and one for the to-do description. And both of these need to be text fields so a user can type something into them. Now, previously, when we worked with text fields, we used the text field widget. But when we're working inside a form widget, we can also use the text form field widget, which behaves the same way as a text field widget, but it comes with a couple of added benefits. So inside this text form field, then, we can add similar arguments as we did before, like the keyboard type or something to obscure the text, but we're not going to add those in this time. What we will add, though, is a max length property to set the max length of the text inside this text field to be 20 characters long. And then this max length is going to show next to the text field when we preview it in a minute. We could also do this in the regular text field widget, by the way. It's not unique to the text form field, this one. I'm also going to add the decoration argument again so that we can apply a label to this text field. And the way we do that is by first saying the value of this decoration argument is const input decoration. And then inside that, we can add the label arguments to add a label. Now, the value of that should be a text widget. And inside that, the text could be to do title. All right. So we have the max length and the label now. Let's preview the app. OK, so this all looks nice. We can see the label and we can also see that max length over there. When we start typing, it shows how many characters we have left available. All right. But as of yet, this is no different to the text field widget we used before. The only real difference is the name of the witch hit text form field instead of just text field. But when we use this version of the widget inside a form widget, we can add on an argument called validator. And the value of this argument will be a function which takes in an argument in itself. And I'm going to call that value. Now, this validator function is going to run later on whenever we call the validate method on our form global key state. And it's going to take in the value of whatever text is inside the text field at that point. So we could do a check on that text value to make sure it passes certain validation criteria inside this function. Now, if we return null inside this function, it means the value passes the validation checks and there's no errors to report. However, if we return a string inside this function, then Flutter uses that string as a validation error and it shows that on the screen underneath the form field. So let's do a little validation check then for this value. So what I'm going to do is a little if check. So inside this if statement, I'll say if value is equal to null or if value is empty, then we're going to return some kind of error, right? So we'll say that the error is going to be you must enter a value for the title. And that's pretty much it. So now this validator function is going to run later on when we tell it to by using the validate function up here using the global key. And when that happens, runs this function, takes the value inside here. If it's null or empty, so like it was, there's nothing in it basically, then we're returning this string right here. And then Flutter will use this string to create an error and show it in red text right here so that a user knows they have to rectify the error. If it passes this check. For example, if it's not empty, we have a value, then it's just going to return null. And that means there's no error. OK, so then we have this validator function now, but nothing's actually triggering it to run yet. So in order to do that, we have to take our global key for the form and use the method buried within it called validate. Now, we want to do that inside the on pressed function for the button at the bottom of the form. So inside that, we can just take the form global key variable that we created and then on that, we need to access the current state property, which basically gives us the current form state. And on that, we can use the validate method. Now, when we use this method, we're probably going to get an error. And that's because this current state variable, Flutter thinks that could be null potentially. Now, we know it's not going to be null because it's hooked up to the form widget and it is going to have a value. So we can add an exclamation mark after the current state to say, look, we know this is not going to be null. It will have a value and the error then should go away. Anyway, 
Now, when we press on this button, it's gonna call this validate function, which in turn triggers any validator functions to run on farm fields inside the farm widget. So let's just quickly preview this. I'm gonna come over here. I'm not gonna add any value and I'm gonna to try to add this. And we see now it all goes red and we get this error message, which is what we returned right here. You must enter a value for the title. If, oops, I'm not completely wrong. If I come over here and enter some kind of value and click add, that error goes away because now we're returning null because neither of these are true. It's not empty and it's not null anymore. Awesome. All right, so we have the first text form field for the title. I also want to do another one for the description. So I'm gonna copy all of that because it's gonna be very similar and I'm gonna paste it down here for the description. Now we'll change title to be description right here for the label. And then we're gonna do the same check right here, but also add on another criteria. And that is gonna be that the value dot length is less than five. So if for the description, we have a length in here, of four or three or two, then we're gonna return an error to say, look, it needs to be at least five characters long. So we'll say right here, enter a description, at least five cars long, and that will do. And the rest, my friends, is pretty much the same. We will change this to 40, the max length, because it's a description, not a title. It could be longer. And I think that's it. So now we have two text form fields, each with their own validation checks and error messages. Let's try this out. So I'm gonna delete this over here and click add. And you can see we get two errors, one for each. So we'll get rid of the title one. And this one remains. If we add something in like yo, which is two letters, less than five characters, then we still get that error because the value length is less than five characters. Let's add some more, add again, and now the error goes away. Cool. 